Hey guys, this is me Gajanand and you are watching Tech with Ranzi. Today I will teach you how to add a Google CAPTCHA uh, to registration form in PHP. So before to write a code, let me show you a quick demo and then we will write a code. So simply just type your uh, name. Uh, my name is Gajanand and uh, email ID is my email ID Gajanand at the rate uh, gmail.com and here is a password so just simply i'm typing my password one two three four five six and here again and here is a google captcha i'm validating and then submit it's a submit the data uh, in our database so your registration has been uh, successfully done so let me check in our database so my database name is demo and here is a table which is sign up so let me click on sign up and as you can see here is a data which we have a field from here so registration has been successfully okay so it's pretty easy uh, to for uh, uh, inserting data in registration form with uh, google captcha okay so now we need to create a project and understand uh, such a functionality okay so here i am currently in a ht doc and have a project php tutorial and uh, here is a php tutorial and here is a php tutorial copy okay so let me open uh, this uh, project and here is a simple three files okay uh, you have to create a db underscore config.php index.php and validate captcha.php okay so let me uh, show you first index.php so take it here and drop it here okay so let me show you line by line so here is a meta tag and here is also a meta tag so just ignore this those meta uh, meta tags okay and here is a title and title is simply how to add a google capture to registration form in php and then i am adding uh, bootstrap for it here just simply you can uh, uh, get from here um, boost bootstrap 4 and when you click on the first link you will get the link or uh, cdn link which is here okay so i think uh, you uh, know well okay and then i am uh, uh, adding this google captcha api javascript file which is also a cdn file okay so you don't need to worry about this okay so now we have a container bootstrap container and then row and then column okay so here is a column uh, one column two and here is column three means column one it here column one column two and column three okay and column uh, in my column six in my column three which is uh, uh, it has a six column six means uh, its width is something like here yeah something okay and then we have a uh, uh card and have a, a card header which is add a google capture to registration form in php which is this one as you can see this is card and then we have a form uh, which is uh, this form and uh, its action is validate capture.php i'll show you in a minute okay so let me zoom in so you can see clearly okay so this is a form and its action is validate capture.php which is this file validate captcha uh, dot php i'll show you in a minute and uh, here is a simply uh, for in uh, for getting an input or for name okay so name is name uh, i know i think you know uh, html so uh, that will be a uh, uh, good for for you for uh, understanding this tutorial okay so input is a uh, uh, text input type text and its name is name and and they have a bootstrap class which is form control and its id is name so id is not important here so let's remove this one and this is for uh, name this is for email address okay so id is also not important so i'm removing and uh, okay uh, and this is for email and this is for password this is for password so name is password and id is password uh, so why uh, id is not important it here because we are working on a php and, and not on the javascript okay so id is not important but if you point uh, uh if you point to a javascript 
uh, to HTML uh, in a CSS so you can uh, it's necessary uh, it's useful for making ID with uh, element okay so then we have a, a confirm password and it's a class uh, its name is C password and class is form control and ID is again a C password okay so all the fields fields is required from here and uh, then very important thing is uh, for uh, this element okay this is very important for showing uh, this captcha uh, which is this one okay so you need to put a due take like this let me uh, zoom in so you can see clearly okay and I am removing my shite kit here and do and class class is G minus response uh, recaptcha sorry G minus recaptcha this class is very very important for making a Google captcha okay so do and class is G captcha and here is a data site key so how you can the, the question is how you can get data site key so data site key you simply just go to like this let me show you uh, uh, like this Google captcha and you need to click on a first link and here is uh, you need to log in and then click on admin console okay and then you have to if you don't have any project it here you need to create to click plus plus sign and you can simply uh, put your label okay so I am putting label just for test one two three you can put any name label and then choose uh, here is a two options recapture types capture version 3 and version 2 so I am using version 2 okay and uh, just select by default I am not a robot okay which is this one mm, yeah here okay and uh, here is a domain you need to if you have any domain name like a domain uh, com and any site dot com and dot in something like and one two three site one two three at the red uh, one two three sorry one two three uh, site one two three dot com and something dot uk and something your site if you have you can type your domain it here but I'm working on a local host so just I'm typing local host it here and then accept terms and condition and submit okay so it will take a little bit time let me submit again mm, why 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 it's taking time yeah so guys uh, as you can see I got a site key and a site secret okay so let me copy this site key and you need to place it here okay and uh, this uh, secret key we will use in a PHP to get a response to get a data from uh, HTML to PHP means working on a server okay so this is secret key and this is very secret okay and uh, I will delete this project after this tutorial just I'm uh, creating for making videos okay so guys uh, let me uh, okay and then the submit button okay and uh, it's type it submit and name is submit okay and its action is validate captcha.php so let me show you this validate captcha.php file okay and here is the validate captcha.php so let's zoom in so here is simply if is said my button which is submit button and captcha g captcha response okay means the, both the uh, post data variables are set it means it's not equal to empty okay both are say, uh, said so as it is you have to type like this and get uh, okay and I'm including my database connection file so let me show you db underscore config dot php so here is a db config dot php let me open it and here is simply just uh, your server name means uh, host is localhost username is root and password is my my password is blank and db name is demo uh, because you have seen my db name is demo okay and just simply uh, uh, create an object of mysql connect and it takes four parameters server name username password and db name okay so simply just close this one this file and then come back to validate captcha.php and here is a secret so secret is by default is uh, 
blank okay so we need to place our secret okay so just go to uh, here and copy this secret and paste it here and this is a secret and this is a verified response from this URL okay so you need to type a file get contents and this is a URL to verify your uh, secrets public and uh, public uh, site key and secret and uh, secret uh, just you need to put a secret which is here this variable and response is whatever response uh, gives your form uh, from here so this is response and response we are getting from uh, poster data okay so then we need to uh, uh, convert uh, in a JSON decode uh, in a JSON format and uh, if its response is success means if you have a validated like this it means if you are validated let me okay okay we need to wait mm, okay we need to refresh I think yeah and then uh, validate it okay so validate means if you uh, see this right sign right icon it means you have a validated your uh, capture okay and its response is success so its response is success and then we can simply get the name email and password from a user from here and we simply write a query to insert a data so this is mysql i query it takes connection and here is a insert query okay i think you know uh, insert query so sign up is my table name name email and password three fields we are inserting and a name this is email and i am uh, encrypting uh, my password uh, uh, using md5 so this is not a recommended way you need to uh, use a uh, your one um, uh, encryption uh, method uh, to encrypt your password because password is very very important for security okay and then if it's a uh, okay we are not adding if uh, because uh, it's a return true and false okay so just simply I'm typing uh, message to the user uh, your registration has been successfully done okay so we are done and uh, you can uh, pretty much we have it done uh, in this tutorial of this tutorial okay so guys if you have any questions and doubt you can uh, write a comment uh, and one thing I forgot uh, I'll put a link in a description so you can go through the link and you can download a source code full source code okay and let me know what you think about this and uh, thanks for watching again so we will see you soon in the next video till then bye have a nice day bye bye